no more sadness for i am being cleansed no more animosity finally the chaos makes sense Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Thanks, Ali, for coughing in the background. He's meant to, not meant to be in my living room anyway, right? Uh, peace be upon you. Sister Lauren Booth here. Tayyib Way has started. This is episode one. Tayyib, by the way, means the pure way. And we are all about making simple changes to our lives that are in line with Islamic teachings and, of course, have a positive effect on our environment, way of life, and our care for nature. Um, Brother Ali today is going to be put through his paces. That's why he's in shot, because we are going on this journey together, you and me. Real changes, real honesty. So come and have a look at the working environment, see what you think. Let's have a look at our basic uh, hygiene of our eating area. Okay, first of all, I want to point out that Ali, yes. brother, Ahi. Um, what's, to talk, talk me through this, this, uh, this beautiful array here. Well, well, and when we use these, we're right, we use them once and then throw them away. They can be used five or six times, yes, and what, yes. even these can be washed. Yes, yes exactly. So, but don't, but don't buy single use. So, so what, what is the commitment today? So we've got a couple of commitments, <coughs> I think, and we'll get to fair trade another time. Let's just, just we, talk we, about plastics I, at Salam I, today. I, I think this, is, this, this should be the last time in Salam we use these, Inshallah. and we get proper spoons. Okay, and we will uh, wash them. I will use dun, them. Dun, dun. Yes. Uh, about, they don't uh, wash them. Ali, are you them. nominating <laughs> yourself to wash them? Uh, possibly, yes. In the, in as the, a, in, as in an the act. Future. Yeah, yes, inshallah. I, I will, I promise. The Prophet, yeah. peace be upon him, yes, said that cleanliness is half of half deen. Yes. Half yes, of yes. deen. Now, we know that the application of that, you know, is to do with wudu, it's to do with personal cleanliness. But we extend that out into how we keep all of our environments. Yes. And a Muslim place should be the cleanest place. So right here, right now, you're watching Salam Make Differences. That's, that's, that's brilliant, Sister Lauren. Next year, we will start all of this. Oh, really? Yes, I, I believe. Uh, we're not from, far from next year anyways, but let's say in, in six months' time, we'll, we'll start it. Do you know what? I feel like twisting your ear. We're going to yes. start this right now by now? doing some shopping. Like, Come on. Like right now now? Yep. Like not tomorrow? No. Right now, this, Ali. This Off you go. Okay. Shall I open the door? <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> That's staying in. Right now. Uh, uh, nice. Okay, so it's organic, but is it fair trade? You lucky old thing, look at that. That's why I usually go well, on. I try to stay away from chocolate, but this is what I go for. It's organic, dark, 70%. So eating healthy and also fair trade. So everybody's happy. The reason that we're going to go Tetley yeah. instead of the other brands that we've been using is because they've got a fair trade certificate. And what that means is that the people working, picking the tea, are supposed to get fair money for their work. Okay. They're not being exploited. And we can't guarantee that with other brands. Okay. So what do you think? Do we care about? Well, of course we do. Yes. You know, I'm sure it, no matter how it tastes, you mm. know, to this, it tastes to the, good to the ear and to the mouth, inshallah. OK, yes. perfect. This one. Is that one you usually like? No, but... Ah, so why did you pick it up? Yeah, thinking I, 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 I like the packaging. Yeah. It looks nice, uh, but also something caught my attention. Really. Okay, so this is, again, fair trade certificate. That's what you're going to be looking at when you're making your ethical shopping choices. Again, it means that the people who are dealing at all levels 
with the uh, with the coffee are getting a fair pay. I've been concerned by the lack of interest in environmental affairs that I've seen at mosques, certainly in the UK, maybe it's the same way you are. It's starting to improve a little bit. There are conferences coming up about greener way of life and discussing the issues in line and in light of the Holy Quran. But we are way, way behind. And what I'm watching is our Muslim youth becoming disaffected with Islam as a way of life because other groups are making better arguments about the environment. They're actually doing things. And Islam is a way of life. We keep saying that, but are we actually living that? Are we uh, exemplifying that, showing that to our children in our homes? No wonder they applaud Greta Thunberg. We should too. No wonder they might join Extinction Rebellion. We can question those motives, but their activities, they come from a sincere place. That's what I believe. I believe that they come from a sincere place. And we, as a Muslim Ummah right now, appear to be offering nothing, and this isn't, this isn't right. So, waste is wasteful, we know that, right? But how am I going to get rid of my rubbish, you're going to be asking. Well, think of it like this. It's a sunny day, you're in the garden with some of the children of your family, and there's a, there's a new flower in the corner of the garden, and it's just sprung up, and you're calling one of your grandkids or your children over, look at that, isn't it gorgeous? And then your next door neighbour leans right over the fence, looks right at you and dumps all of his week's waste straight onto that flower. And you look, you look at him like, what are you doing? Are you crazy? And he looks back and says, nah, what are you going to do? I can't keep it in my house. I've got to get rid of it. So I'm dumping it just out of sight and I don't care what happens with it next. That is what we're doing with our non-recyclable waste. The, the government where you live doesn't have a magic wand to say, abracadabra, vanish. No, they just dump it somewhere else. It's called a landfill. Landfills are huge areas of toxic earth growing second by second, dumper truck by dumper truck as our plastic goes there. Oh yeah. Here's the graphic as well about how long it takes for things to break down. Take a look at this. An apple core takes two months to decompose. I quite like putting apple cores outside myself. I put them in hedges. I'm a bit of a bit of a <laughs> okay, maybe this is a bit weird. Uh, a bit of a fruit peel kind of freak. I just kind of tuck them away so they can decompose in the earth rather than worrying about somebody else taking them. That's something I do. I don't have a garden at the moment. So I kind of make sure that they go outside, especially if I'm eating an apple outside, that I don't chuck it in a bin. I go, that'll go in the hedge two months. It'll be mulching the earth and it'll, it'll enrich in the soil, inshallah. Cardboard, two months to break down kind of doable by nature, you know, depending on how much is being dumped, right? But then there's a huge, huge, crazy jump. And this is incredible. Tin cans. How long do you think they take to break down? 50 years. So if we look in our cupboards right now and we're saying, oh, well, I care about the beautiful environment you've given us. I know this can and these 10 cans are going to take 50 years each to break down. Doesn't matter. Someone else is going to dump them or burn them, or pulp them. Well, they can't be pulped, crush them. They'll, maybe they'll be small and they, nah. Every household just in your area, think about it, right? So that's tin cans, 50 years. And then there's this really scary jump. Plastic bottles take 450 years to break down. I couldn't believe it when I read that. I felt like, I felt really uncomfortable with that. Really unhappy to just reuse whatever we can yeah um disposable baby nappies i've had two children both use disposables 450 years for each nappy to break down that's disgusting for every child in the in the modern world you know in the modern world in the in, i won't even say in the western context because they're just everywhere so make the switches you can and start this week follow tie away mm -hmm. 